All right, so in this project, we're going to create a multi-page website. I'm assuming that you've done the previous project, which was called, or that at least I called valid page. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a copy of this project. So I'm going to grab the current folder, and this has an images folder inside with some images, as well as the index.html page. And I'm going to make a copy of it on a Mac. I can just right click and select duplicate. I think you can do copy and paste on Mac or PC. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because I don't need it anymore. And I'll rename this something like multi-page, something like that, right? The next thing that I want to do is to open this up and then make copies of each of my documents here. Sorry, and make copies of this document. And I'm going to need a copy for each of the sections of this page. So let me go ahead and double click to pull this up. You'll notice that in this document, we have a welcome section. This will be one page. Then we have skills, experience, social media, and samples. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, and then five pages. This index is going to be our first page. So we need to copy this four times. Again, right click and select duplicate. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Like command D a few times, two, three, four. And now we have several copies. And I'm going to start renaming these, whatever the names of the sections are. So I have a skills section. And I'll copy. I'll name that skills. I'll name the next one experience. And the next one will be called social media. Again, you want to make sure you don't use spaces or weird characters in here. And then the last one is called samples. So now you've essentially created a website. They're all exactly the same, but we're going to be creating navigation for every page that points to the other pages. All right, so next we're going to open up this entire folder in Adobe Brackets. If I open this up, I can usually just drag it into this Brackets application. If that doesn't work, you can go to the file menu and select open folder. When you open a bracket, it's going to try to open the previous folder. Unfortunately, I just tossed that into the garbage. So that's why it's saying it can't load the previous project. That's fine. Um, so because I dragged this into the application, it's showing me the current project. Now, again, you can also go to file open folder and then open up the folder, which in this case will be this multi-page folder. All right. So all good. Let's go ahead and open the index.html document. All right, so that is our web page. Now you can see that I have everything in a single line like this. So it's not wrapping any of the text, which I like because I can see the structure of my code pretty easily. If you really want to see the entire text, um, you want to go to the view menu and select word wrap. That'll wrap everything. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes that makes the code look a little bit messy. So it just depends on what you're trying to do and uh, what you like. Once you pull this document up, if you click on this little icon right here, it's going to open up Live View. It's going to launch a copy of Google Chrome. And then it, that copy will become a live preview. And sometimes it has a little bit of a cow here. Um, do we have Chrome? Yep. Oh, looks like it was just hidden right now. So. Um, this should be a live preview, and depending on which version of brackets or Adobe Edge code um, you're using, it will immediately change as you edit, like it is in mine, or you may have to save. So this is actually going to be, uh, let's say, resume. I should have named that other one resume, or I'll just say raise website, something like that. All right, so what I want to do now is go ahead and reorganize these elements so that they're in different sections. So I'm going to take my name right here, and I'm going to create a header section. And I'm going to place this name in there, right, along with some basic contact info. So I'll just put email, ray at planetoftheweb.com, and I'll add a strong tag here. Um, I'll put this in a paragraph. So you'll see one thing that I like to do is just 
select the whole entire line, then use the edit cut command, which is command X on a Mac. So I'll cut, then I'll do P for the paragraph, tab, and then paste. And that's just a quick way of doing it. Now, the shortcuts that I'm using are part of Emmet. So if you don't have Emmet installed, make sure you go to file menu, then extension manager, and uh, do right under the available tab, you wanna search for brackets and uh, install that extension. I think I already have it installed, so it's not gonna show up right here. So back here, here's Emmet. And that's pretty cool. So that allows me to do all these cool little shortcuts. So I have a header. And what we're gonna also do in here is add some navigation. So to create navigation, we're gonna use the nav tag for navigation. And then we'll create an ordered list. And our ordered list is gonna have links to five pages. So I can type in this abbreviation and then hit tab. And I wanna link essentially to these other pages that I created. Now I'm in the home page, so I can go ahead and put in here home. And then um, let's see, I have skills. And let's see what my other section is experience. And social media and samples, social media and then samples. And what I want to do is actually link these to the other pages. So my home, I'm cutting again, command X or edit cut here. And then I'm typing in an A, then tab, and then I can paste. Actually, I want to type in the name of the page. So this is the home page. So it's index.html. And what is clickable is going to be this word home. So if I scroll the way to the top, I should see this home page. Now, this right now is the current page. So if I click on it, it's not going to do anything because it's, it's the current page. All right, so next, I want to do the same thing for all these other ones. So the skills is going to go to the skills.html document and be labeled skills. And I'll just do the same thing for these. So exp experience that HTML and then put that in there and then social media that HTML finally samples samples that HTML and paste that right there so now I have some pretty good navigation now here's something super critical once you type that in since you've already named all your pages what you want to just want to test to make sure that these are working. Make sure you don't didn't misspell something um, or gave something the wrong name, and then try to link to to you know somewhere from here that doesn't exist. So I want to click on these, and this takes me to this is the index page. If I click on skills, this takes me to the skills page. I need to hit the back button. So I'm just testing these out. Experience takes me to the experience page. That's good. Social media. So all these are working. Excellent samples looks like it's working right now all the pages look the same but i can tell by the name of this um, text right here the the name of the page all right so that's working now that i have that then what i want to do is copy this navigation and i'm going to also place it in the footer which i need to create so down here i'm going to create a section called footer and i'll paste my navigation in there as well so I'll have navigation at the top and at the bottom of the page. So down here is where the other one went. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do is delete everything that doesn't belong on this page. So this is the home page. So really, just this welcome section should be on the home page. Everything else should be on a separate page, right? So. I'm just gonna delete all this other stuff. So I should just be left with my header and my footer that just has the navigation right now. And then this section right here is gonna be a new section. I'm gonna use the tag called section actually. And then I'm gonna grab the content, right? This welcome and the two paragraphs and then cut it out of here. Again, edit, cut, and then I'll paste it in here. Right. 
And what I want to do here is also add a class of container. This is allow me. This is going to allow me to um, style this later on with CSS. All right. Finally, I'm going to add. And a class to the body, actually an ID to the body tag. And this will have an ID of home, because this is the home page. I want every one of my pages to have an ID that relates to the page that I'm on. This allows me later on when I work with some CSS to make a page have maybe a different background. So every page can have its own background or the headers can be a little bit different by targeting the IDs of the page. So this, I think, is it for this one page. And what I need to do is now copy everything that I've done on this page to my other pages. So I'm going to select everything. So once I got this working, and I know these are all working there, I'm going to select all. So edit select all if you want to. Or command A is the shortcut on a Mac. And then I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go over to every one of the other pages and just edit out what doesn't belong on this page. So for experience, we want this experience section right here. So I'm going to delete everything else. Da -da -da, delete. Okay. So this is really what I want on this page. So I'm going to hit return a few times, paste the code from the previous page, right, from this index page, and then grab, I, I had this content down here. So I'm going to grab this content and cut it. I'll delete some of these extra spaces. And on this page, I want to replace this content inside this section of class container with what I cut into the clipboard. So there. So this is section called container, right? And it has my headline and my information for this page. Okay. Um, also, I want to obviously update the ID so that this ID would be unique to this page, experience. And that's it for that page. So that's good. Let's go ahead and save this and click over here. If I see a little dot right here, it means that it's not saved. So I want to go here and make sure that I save. So save as file, save right here. Okay. Um, and I need to keep on doing that to all the other pages. So um, let's go ahead. I'm not sure why my um, preview went crazy like gone but um I can just hit it again uh, sometimes I guess this kind of goes batty but uh, it's okay all right so uh, this is the samples page so I'm gonna samples is really just this section over here now yours is obviously gonna look different than mine mine was just a sort of a quick version of a real page so samples is just those two for right now you're supposed to have a lot more than this and then I think I still have oops looks like I don't have all that content from the clipboard anymore. So I'll go back into the index page, copy the entire thing, select all, right? Select all and then copy. Then go back into samples. I'll put in some carriage returns, put my cursor at the top, paste, and then grab just the content for this page. And replace the stuff inside this container with the content for this page and hit save um, and it looks like I have to refresh the page but you can see that it has my header it has my navigation and my um, content just for this page so if I go back home I can see my home content um, right now we have the samples page working as well as the experience page just the content that we have for this page. Pretty cool. I mean, actually, it looks pretty ugly, but trust me, this is beautiful HTML. All right, so let's do the rest of them. We've got skills. Before I switch to that page, I'm going to again select everything in here um, and then copy this. Then go over to the skills section. Just find the skills part. So I'm going to delete everything else and delete everything else here. Again, breathing room, paste, then grab just the skills part. And then replace the stuff in the container with 
our code. So paste. Save this. See if we can refresh the skills just by themselves. Cool. And again, missing social media. So once again, select everything, copy it, social media, find just that part, social media here. And we'll select everything, delete just that piece of code. Paste. And you could have probably done this another way. You could have maybe made your template first and then copied and pasted the content. But, you know, this is the way I did it. So it works too. Um, okay, so paste my social media content, save it. And I think that's everything. So if I refresh, I should be able to navigate to all the pages. So if I click on home, I'll go to the home page, skills, awesome experience, social media, samples, and that's it. You've actually created a website that has links to all of the different pages by taking your content from one page and dividing it into different sections. One more thing before we go that you have to do is test the code for all of your pages and make sure that it's valid. Um, every time you submit a project, the code has to be checked. So what we're going to do is go to the validator, validator.w3.org, and I can do a couple of things here. So I can either uh, validate by pasting my code from every page. So let's just grab this social media page and paste it, hit check. This is actually good during development. It says that it's valid. You can go through all the pages if you want to. Now, if you want to actually um, do this another way, you can upload this entire folder. So this project is done. It's called multi-page. And we can log in through transmit. I'm going to do transmit because I like it better than than um like it better than cyberduck and i'm just going to go to planet of the web okay so i have a projects folder here and this one's called val the previous one was called valid html this one's going to be called multi-page because that's what i call this folder so i'm going to drag this place that on the server da -da 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 -da. and after a minute um, i want to make sure that it's uploaded properly. So planet off the web, projects, oops, looks like it finished, projects, and multi-page. All right, so here's our document uploaded to a website. I can click to navigate through the different sections. And now when I go to validate these, so I'll need to open up, I'll open up a new window here. Um, I want to copy the URL and then go to the validator and I can validate by URI by pasting the code and hitting check. This page is valid. Let's go over to the skills section. We'll paste that in there. Um, where's the validate? Once you validate it, the validate button goes down here under revalidate or we can just hit the back button and then paste. Check. That one's good. Experience. Um, hit the back button again. That one looks good. Social media, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't need I don't need to verify all of them. 